all right guys uh, welcome back to another video in the previous video we learned about the delete method in mongodb that is delete one and delete many uh, based on that you can perform uh, deletion of a specific record or uh, multiple records using regular expressions as i've shown you uh, the left out things which are now is on the update and limit function and uh, the dropping of the database in the collection so first of all we'll see the update method how you can update records within the collections so um, basically there are two methods for update that is update one and update many so similarly to the uh, delete method update one will uh, try to uh, change the name of name of something which is uh, or something which is specific right provided by the user over here we are uh, giving the query that is my query there are two variables that is my query and uh, new values so my query consists of the old name and the new values consist of the new name so both these values initialized values are been passed over here as the parameter in update one function so these two values are just passed over here that's it so this is the old value and this is the new value right so basically what we're doing here is just changing the name from alex to andrew right so let's check this out first and run so let's see the name andrew okay so id name 12 name andrew changed right now we'll try to change it the andrew name from something different like uh, william williams right okay save it will not run basically because 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 there is no alex we need to change it into andrew right so it was andrew first old name was andrew and we are changing it to williams so here is the update id 12 and the change has done so this is how you can perform the update one method now we'll try to up um, and we'll, we'll try to change uh, multiple records so for that we'll use this one regular expression the procedure is same we will take the old value and the new values but here we'll try to change the address which uh, will start with the letter f and we'll change uh, the address to mansion street 105 right so we'll just try to see in the record which are the addresses which starts from f f1 id 14 8 and uh, 3 right we'll see what it actually does so we'll run this query and comment this one update one and uncomment update many the procedure is same so mansion street 105 id 3 8 and 14 has been successfully changed so both the method basically works so these are the two basic methods of updating uh, records within the collection in mongodb now we'll just move on to uh, limit function so what limit function does is that i'll just show this one first so this is the entire record which i have right now in the collection nothing limited right now so what limit function does is that it will try to provide only the number of records which the user has passed so for example if i only want to see record of between 2 to 5 so this 5 uh, record i want to see so how i can perform that just to type limit four or five whatever you want and run so as you can see four records have been executed and you can see the start uh, starting four records so this is the limit function this is the way you can usually uh, use the limit for fetching out data based on the limit you want basically now the last two things which are left is dropping the database and dropping the collection so we'll just uh, delete this because it is not necessary now 
and try to delete the table that is my collection drop my collection so this is the method for dropping out a collection within a database so this is the uh, collection name db table and we are trying to drop it out so it has been executed we are not printing it out it will not show because it has no data so it will not print out right now we'll try to delete the database and try to print out that what are the number of database right now present in the mongo client so for that you need to comment this one uncomment this one and uncomment this one so this method will do uh, list database name will try to list out the number of database present in the mongodb at present so let's see did it so we have to change over here demo right so the database name is demo over here so we want to delete or drop demo so as you can see the code has been successfully ran and you can see the three default parameters or values what we can say that so the dropping and dropping of collection as well as uh, dropping of database has been successfully executed and there is no uh, database and collection present in the mongo client or the mongodb right now so this was this was it guys and if you have any questions queries and concerns re regarding this entire series you can comment down below and uh, thanks for staying till the end and thanks for watching again